Good, good afternoon and welcome to the social media program on television. We call it The Buzz and is exclusive to Galaxy Television. Of course, we're beaming live from our studios here in Ikeja, Lagos. It's a lovely Thursday afternoon, the 27th of September, 2018. Uh, incidentally, there's supposed to be an industrial strike action, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it on the streets everywhere. I don't know, maybe in the course of the remaining six days of the strike, the warning strike, it might catch on. But anyways, strike or no strike, the show goes on. My name is Patience. It's always, always a pleasure to be on the show. And on Thursdays, you know, we, we talk lifestyle, relationship, you know, things that make us speak as, <laughs> as a people. All right, I'm so excited this afternoon. Uh, my panelists today uh, all complete. All four of them are here this afternoon, and it looks like it's going to be a great show. First off, let me welcome back Charles. Aww. Charles has been away. He had a slight accident, you know. Uh, actually, he's on crutches, but he's still here. <laughs> Talk about commitment and dedication. I don't know what to say to you, Charles, thank but you. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for thank always you. taking time out to be here. Thank you. It's thank you for pleasure. coming. Charles, Charles is a child psychologist and is also a counselor. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. Also, we have one of our regulars. She's a women's rights activist and a counselor as well always here anytime I call her uh, nothing is more important than being here <laughs> it's a pleasure to have Mrs. Tina Uche on the table this afternoon welcome ma'am Good afternoon, patients. Good afternoon. It's always exciting to be here. Always exciting. Just to welcome here. back. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we all miss Charles. <laughs> and of course, one of our regulars, uh, Mr. Willa, you know, sometimes. Honorable. Yes, honorable. honorable. Oh, wow. Everybody's a honorable now. <laughs> Anyways, he's most times always here amongst women, and mm. he will stand his ground. Oh, you know? wow. <laughs> <laughs> he is the General Secretary for Liberation Movement Party. He's also a life coach and a real Real estate expert, Mr. Mustafa Iwinla. Good afternoon, Good sir. Good afternoon, appreciate Thank you for Good coming. Good afternoon, Charles. Oh. Good to have you back. So much love. Yes. Thank you, guys. Charles is the, is the celebrity on the table. Oh, yeah. my yeah. love. <laughs> no, my sister is a celeb. I'm just yeah. a regular guy. All right. And of course, I have my sister, my friend. She's my senior colleague. You know, um, when I came to Galaxy years ago, you know, as a as a rookie then, you know, fresh off from all the trainings and everything, I met her here on Galaxy. She already had a program going and she was a huge inspiration to, uh, <laughs> to me, you know, and it's amazing how she has remained, you know, true to self mm. over the years mm. from one program to the other, to the other, the indefatigable. Hey. <laughs> if I can use the hey. <laughs> She is Ooh. the presenter and producer of Labalaba Oro, mm -hmm. um, a relationship program on radio currently. She has done all sorts of programs. Let's not even go into that. Mm. But it's a pleasure to have her here. She's a Thank media you. practitioner yes, in sir. every regard. Toyi Ohi Alegbe. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Auntie like Toyi, so like I like ah, to call you. <laughs> Yeah. Great, to be here. Great to have you here again. Here. Thank you, know, you for patient, coming. Sorry, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually funny how this program has been made. Yeah. Wow. Just before we got into the studio, I was telling that in my history of um, being a, a property consultant, uh -huh. she happens to be my first client ever. Oh. Wow. I wow. That is so should have plugged that. So, <laughs> so very, very good that program means a lot of Yes, oh. yes. Oh. Uh -huh. She's like, oh, I know, I know that. that. <laughs> okay, so let me just blush. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's like family yes. at the table today. Yes. Welcome, yes. everybody. Yeah. All right, so uh, if you're viewing us at this time, the number to use is 0802. 836-8971 for SMS only, but you can also use the number to send a WhatsApp uh, message. We will read that. Or you go to Facebook and join the conversation or Instagram. And today we're starting with a topic called coping with a stingy man. Before we go into that topic, let me quickly announce to us that up until two hours ago, the Supreme Court in India has just ruled that adultery is no longer a criminal offense. We're not even going to talk about that now because it will take the whole day. All right. All right. Our first topic is coping with a stingy man. 
Huh, of course, we all know that in our dear country, <laughs> Nigeria, you know, money is a well-known relationship dynamics. You know, you can't shy away from it. Not just in Nigeria. Yeah, well, no. I'm, I'm trying to limit way. it to, to Nigeria, you know, whether you is a boy, boyfriend, girlfriend situation uh, or is a husband and wife situation, money plays a critical role. So if you have a man who is not always willing to give, how do you cope with that? Well, I went on YouTube and I found this video of Toke Makinwa uh, on her Toke Moments uh, vlog and this is what she has to say about stingy men. I want to ask a question though. How do you spot a stingy man? Hmm? How do you know if this guy is going to be stingy? Because it's not written on their forehead. You know, when you meet someone, there's nothing that tells you that this guy is going to be stingy. Now, I'm the first person to say that, you know, of course, women should get their own and do their own things and, you know, get to work and, of course, have your own money. This is not to encourage girls living off men. But on the other hand, a stingy man is bad for business. A stingy man is not the way forward. A stingy man is not an upgrade. He is a downgrade. So why are you looking at that guy who drives a Range Rover and you're thinking, oh my God, he has money, he lives in a car. You have to be sure that that money is in circulation. Some men are so tight, they said, to collect money from them, it's like squeezing a rock to bring out water. And I don't understand why. Why are you stingy? There's a difference if the guy doesn't have. You know, when a guy is, you know, probably struggling, doesn't have money, I'm not talking about that, yeah? If a guy doesn't have, he doesn't have. And if you as a woman, if it's time for you to pick up the bills and you believe in things like that, do it. No one is criticizing you for that. But I'm talking about the men that have, but are just stingy. The men that just want to chop and clean out and not give anything back. The men that just refuse to spend on their girlfriends or their wives. Come, is it by force to chase babe? Even though you cannot spend money on her, leave her. A proper man, a proper gentleman does not let a woman ask. He just knows. Once the woman says, oh, my hair is itching me. The guy automatically knows that this means that my babe needs to change her hair. Those are the kind of guys that we need. Those are the kind of correct guys we're talking about. So how do we spot this man? That's my very big question. See, I've come up with about three suggestions that might help you. Because you know that it's not written on the head. you got to just look out for some certain things, yeah? Look out for how this man talks. See, a stingy man will talk about all these things. I go to Monaco, I go to Spain, tomorrow in America, next tomorrow I'm in London. We'll just be talking about money, 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 money. But you're not seeing the money. If you have somebody who's talking about money every day and you're not seeing the money, he's a stingy man. Oh, he's a liar. Your girlfriend's hair is smelling. How we will stuck on that head for like six months. Uh, yeah, exaggerated. Maybe three months. That's still an exaggeration. Maybe three weeks. Eh? And you cannot give her money to go and change her hair. Come on, go away. You're a very stingy man. Yes, you are doing haircuts. Yes, you are buying yourself designer shoes. Yes, you are buying yourself new ties. Yes, you are buying yourself a new car. That man is stingy. If you have to speak too much grammar before he drops money, he's a stingy guy. If he's not giving you in relationship, he's not going to give you in marriage. You. That's the kind of man that will have different accounts and you will not know. If a man cannot spend on you as his girlfriend, do not be deceived. All those girls that say, I don't know how to ask. You look for how to ask. You don't know how to come out to ask the guy directly, but you hint. And if he does not pick up on the hints, address the situation. Babe, I uh -uh, chill now. We are close. I, I need to do my hair. I need to buy my cosmetics. If he's not giving you all that money, the guy is stingy. When he marries you, he's not going to spend the money. I'm just telling you. A stingy man is bad for business. A stingy man is regression. It's not progression. That man is a stingy man. That's the kind of man that will say, don't own the generator until I come home and you and your children will be in darkness. They are watching me. There are plenty of them right now. They'll be shouting, the gen has been on all day. The stingy man. Because you know what? You are the one that should be in darkness while your wife stays in AC. Why are you such a wicked somebody? Why are you a wicked fellow? Eh? They are Toke Makinwa on her Toke moment <laughs> addressing the <laughs> issue. 0802 that's the number to use. Charles, let's start with you. Well, I would say um, hmm, the whole the theme and the message mm -hmm. behind what she's saying is what I don't stand for. Okay. Okay? Now, that all the things she said has the potential of making you know, younger girls mm -hmm. feel like my life should be dependent mm -hmm. on a man. Mm -hmm. And as a male feminist, I don't, I don't take that stand. I'm not, you know, 
I'm totally disgusted mm -hmm. with some of the things I've heard. Mm. Okay? Because mm. as a woman, first of all, you don't need the man's finance. You should be strong enough as a human being. The man has one head. Mm. The woman has one head. The man has two legs. The woman has two legs. You have the same brain. It's the same capacity and potential mm. to be financially stable, stable on your own. Okay. So now... Talking about things like that, she wants to make her hair, you don't give her money. Please, young girls out there, hear me and hear me good. You lose value as a human being when you can't stand and take your own financially. Mm. That's my point. Mm. Now, back to you know, the emotional aspect of what she's saying. Mm. If you are in a relationship, yes, it's, it's about give and give. I oh, don't sharing. actually believe mm. in give and take. Okay. It's a hundred hundred. Now there's mm. nothing wrong with you giving of your love, yourself, your creativity, your finance to the person who you love, either like an intended or mm. a spouse. Mm -hmm. But where I draw the line is when you make absolute definitions okay. and say it's the duty mm. or the position of the man mm -hmm. to always provide. Okay. I do not agree with that. Okay. That has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a man, mm. but it just retrogresses the um, potential and the power of the woman. Okay. That to me is objectifying females, mm. where you have to be at the mercy of, of your husband yeah. or whoever. What makes it wrong for you to, to you know, get productive and run the gen in your home. Mm. Must your husband always be the one? Okay, before I move on money? to Tina, let me just ask you a quick question and yeah. I want a quick answer. Perfect. Is it wrong for a woman to expect her man to give her money? Oh, no, it's not. Certainly it's not. It's okay. not. Okay. All right, it's Tina, not. let's hear your say. Are we taking it generally or are we concentrating on married people? No. Or relationship? Generally. Generally. Mm. I, I'll, I'll be coming from the point of view of uh, the conservative mm. because I don't like this idea of demanding because maybe when I was growing up I was asked not to take anything from a man mm. because if you've taken something from a man he has every right to demand something from you mm. so if you don't want a man to demand from you you don't take you don't take mm. that is the way I was trained mm. but what I want to say is this by the time you because we are talking relationship developing to marriage mm -hmm. Very good. By the time a man knows you that you are the demanding type, because some people don't care about where the relationship is going, mm -hmm. what they are after is what they right now. get. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now. I have seen so many people that lost good what, things. Good things that are supposed to, I mean, things that are supposed to lead to, to something. something. Yeah. Because it's always demanding, demanding. I, I, I don't think I go with that idea of. Uh, of um, a lady wanting to do her hair, mm. it has to be the man, and you want to anything you want to do, you have to demand from uh, from the man. There must be uh, the, you have to draw the line. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to in every relationship. What are you bringing? Thank God for the men of these days. When they want a relationship, they want to know what the other person is bringing to yeah, the table. Exactly. Even a marriage. I said it last time that I have uh, some nieces that got married and they confided in us that it's 60, 40. Mm. When you are not married to a, some, a thief, you, you know right. the source of the person's income. Mm. And that was the agreement and beautiful. Okay. So, so what are you bringing to the table? Mm. It's not always asking. And as a lot of women that are stingy too. Mm. It, so it, it should be both ways. Okay, Mr. Mustafa. Okay, I think I like to hear Mrs. Allegra's view. Oh, right. okay, wow, okay. So, <laughs> okay, okay. all right. Um, while Charles was talking, I just quickly looked up the word stingy in the dictionary. Mm. And so, stingy is not liking or wanting to give or spend money, mm. not generous. Okay. And I think our focus here should be your question was, how do you deal with a stingy man? A stingy man, man yes. Jenison. A stingy man is stingy, he's not kind. So whether in a relationship or, in a or you take it further on, you should know that if the guy is unkind, because I mean, how do I relate with you? How do you know if, I, if you can trust me with your life? 
my money and my time. Mm. How much of it I'm willing to give to you. Do you understand? Yeah. So if a man is not willing to spend money on you, and <laughs> Tina is already looking at me like, are you saying that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just want it's to a know. different question. It's uh -huh. another thing when the girl is asking, and I'm not dealing with that. Mm. I'm addressing the stingy, the stingy man, man part of our, yeah. of our, of our question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the man is not one to give, like uh, Toka said, must she ask before you do it? Mm. Do you understand? If the man is not one to find out how you're doing, even if it's a dime, like mm. a cobble mm -hmm. or a, a one naira and all that. Whatever. Do you understand? So the man is stingy and he's going to be stingy all the way. So if you're in a relationship and the guy is not forthcoming, not that you're the one going to demand. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she knows. Everybody knows but that. But he doesn't office his own. He's not generous. Own yes. Okay. Mm. You do have a point that it will yeah. make yeah. for a very yeah. rusty yeah. kind of And later, it will move on to other things. Oh, it will not just because if I can hold my money from you, then every other thing is I'll withhold yeah, every true. other... Okay, good good right. point. Yeah, okay. Good point. okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think I agree with my fellow panelists mm. based on their submissions. But uh, also, I believe in life that you can't give what you don't have. You see, sometimes you need to really know the person you are dating or you're married to. That sometimes ladies can be, can be very carried away sometimes. <laughs> very yes, carried away, I like it, that. Because the truth of the matter is, a man who has a Range Rover, who has all the, who travels here and there, and would not give his partner or his wife something, that means there's something fundamentally wrong. Mm -hmm. It is either the man is not the owner of that Range Rover. <laughs> it's the truth. Or he's not, all those things he says he have, is, is not the, the real owner. Maybe he owns them physically, but in his mind, he does not own them. That's so, another, so, you know, so, that's yeah. another deep because, interpretation. Yeah. Because, because some, some ladies sometimes, there are some guys we call, we call them, we call them, is it? Um, Fawaraja. Fawaraja in Yoruba, or Goldie guys. <laughs> They, they look very good from the, from the external. Smooth they talking. Have nice cars, smooth <laughs> talk. They tell you they, they have this, they have that. Their father is the owner of this. Is the owner. Always sharp. Well, nothing to show for it on the lady's part. In fact, for them to even give the lady a 10,000 naira is a big problem. That's mm. a stingy. So, so that is a definition of a stingy, stingy man. man. So it's, I think... The, I, I'm the happy with clarifying mm. it. There's a oh, difference yeah. Yeah. between a broke man, a broke man and, and a stingy man. A broke man cannot give up. Yeah, yeah, because he doesn't have, by the way. A stingy man has it, but he will not give it. So, give it. so, so okay. for a stingy man who has it, mm -hmm. and it is obvious he has it, mm. and it is not reflecting on his wife, or his okay. kids. Or even that, on himself. No, Do you know there are some people too yeah. that to can be so house. stingy to even to themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Those, so they have those, those, they have no. it physically, no. but, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the ones that the ones that have it and they can't spend it themselves, those ones. That's another word. That's that one, 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 that but how can somebody work very, you work very hard for your money and you can't spend it yourself? No, no, but there are some people that they are enslaved to money. They are a man. He had generator, uh, but that generator can only work for two hours. Mm, Not that yeah. there's no fuel. There's fuel inside. Okay. Okay. He has well, the money, but he can't. Sometimes your background too. For instance, okay. my dad, yeah. my dad yeah. believed that you must, you must suffer in life. For you to appreciate, Do you understand? Yeah, the you good things of life. You, you should not find the things too easy. So wow. you go through the hard. <laughs> my, my father of blessed memory. <laughs> So okay now so quickly so for it somebody so for somebody who is so okay who is who finds ourselves okay dating a stingy man mm. what do you do what well, does she what do you have a so what do you do no okay now okay now you have a choice I'll when she's dating I'll say, I'll say good okay. when she's already in I like I like to know what she okay okay do. okay now okay let's even classify that somebody who is married to a stingy mm. man mm. now. Number one thing, you need to really be sure of your husband's finances. Be sure that you no, really, I think you really have to establish that yes. the man is no, good. It's Everything good. is okay. Yes, okay. It's okay. Now, it's just now, very tight fisted. Uh, it's just very tight fisted. I think it's just very important that you, uh, you as a woman, you find out why he's stingy to you. The is it stingy cost. generally or to the wife alone? If, if, if it's to the so wife, some people will so give to their family, mm. but they will they not won't give to the wife. So, 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 so the lady has to find out the, the reason why the husband is choosing other way. How does she find out? Then, I mean, I mean, fine, you have established no, that the truth she, is you she will has know. a good income. You can, the truth you can, is you, you will know. You can, you can sit the man down and talk to him. You will know the reason he's stingy? Yes, somehow you will. You will know. If you are in a relationship with someone and then something is really going awry and it's recurrent, you. Women, come no, on, no, talk you will about know that he is stingy, stingy, but mm. will you know why? Yeah, he's you, will, you will have, I'm sure, I um, believe I'm you sure will have really. some inkling. I have, 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 I have,
because we're taking it now, we are trying to bring we're out. Opening you know, we are opening it up. Mm. Thanks to you. There's, there's a man. <laughs> Thank you. There's a man that the wife doesn't know how to manage money. Mm. Okay. She spends any, what is meant for the family. Mm. She will use it for to buy a shape and things like that. Mm. And the man started withdrawing uh, money from no, her. That's not a stingy man. That's not no. the scenario. Do you get, but the wife goes about to say that he's stingy. Well, that's, that would be the because the woman doesn't know how to manage. So, no, he was saying that we have to. Uh, the woman has, has to, to know, find, find out, out why. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because, okay. because when they, uh, some of them, when they come to a counselor, they will lie. But of when course, you try to, come. you know that kind. Of, when you okay, Tina, I think I get your point. I mean, being stingy can be relative too, yeah. because what the woman sees as stinginess to the man might not be. It might just be. Might just be yes, yeah. might not be stingy. Yeah, yeah. he's being prudent. So I, I like that angle. For instance, a wife demanding a Brazilian weave-on of 150k from the man, and the man feels is a waste of money. You know, you know? You know? why does she just carry low cuts like like Tony and myself? You know, so you know the Brazilian thing on the law run is actually cheaper than getting you know the cheaper one mm. no but your man cannot afford that the reason you're thing. asking for it is because your neighbor is wearing oh, no, it no 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 that's not that's and the man sees that all not fifty thousand can be deployed to another thing mm. useful thing oh, well there's the always something better that you yeah, can yeah. use money for that's why it's but, relative um, yeah. like she yeah. said like, yeah like it depends on what our what individual do do? priorities what exactly do you do i would say Woman, if you are in a relationship and you know, like all what has been said, mm -hmm. the man is stingy. If it's not something you can yeah. live with, really? like she mentioned, every mm -hmm. relation or well, most relationships, um, on a normal, you know, yeah. on a good day, yeah. should lead to like a marriage, a marriage or yeah. something, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. cemented. On a good day. So if you can't cope with that, why not take you know, a walk? Take a walk. But when you're, but when you're married you? and all this is happening, I have one message for women out there. Get your own. Oh. Simple. Get your own. Yeah, if you're already uh, uh, in uh, it. Uh, okay. If you're already in it. I would say mm -hmm. carry your cross. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, it's like unfortunate, it, it, it is there, what it is. Productive financially, yes. make your own make money. Make your own money. Wake up one morning oh, and suddenly go stingy. So there you go. There should be a cost. And I, 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 I don't even, <coughs> even think have that, stingy I don't from think that any, 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 any normal Maybe sane man when we are married, yeah. will be Let's stingy. Hear him. I do not think that any normal sane man, somebody you say you love, and you are stingy to that person. I don't think it's... I, I think yeah, that something, something, is something is actually wrong. Mental, okay. mental problem yeah. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. shows in different ways, you yeah. understand? Yeah. But you know, on a funny note, every man thinks... Every, well, virtually every man <laughs> in the world, almost all men on earth, mm -hmm. Think their women are extravagant. Yes, mm. yes, yes. That's that's yes. a that's, that's a general right. belief. And that's that, why you know, some men when they have money, they don't have. want their wives to know. No. Exactly, because my, but, my but, mom is a I in my but opinion. Women, <laughs> are we extravagant? Like, well, yes, yes, we can, yes be. we can be. I agree we can be. <laughs> So we that, can that, be, yeah. that's but that's what makes issue. us women, you and know. That's what makes us different. So you, you know? get so, so and um, that's the color that we know, add to know, the whole thing. Sorry, <laughs> let me have this finally. You see, patient, you talked about this must have been very relative. I've had a case of a woman who was very well to do at some point, but she was keeping all her wealth from her husband because yeah. the man was not well to do at some point. Exactly. Along the line, the table, the table turned Turn, around, uh, and the man, he, he, in fact, he, he dealt with that lady. Oh. Showed her. <laughs> So in, that, so in that scenario, now, would that, that lady tell the not, would that lady tell the husband that's not that a stingy man? Oh, yeah. so well, he's he is a stingy back, man. He's not trying to pay her back. No, he, 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 well, he's very faithful. He doesn't have a mission. You know, he is on a mission. <laughs> Let's see how the viewers are reacting on WhatsApp. Um, this one says, in a relationship, if I see that the guy is stingy, I'd rather move on. Yeah. You don't need to ask your guy before he gives you. And we have lots and lots of messages here. Uh, this one says, to me, if a lady knows the source of his man's income, she needs to carry her cross. Good afternoon, all. Please note that it is the duty of a man to provide at all all times it is even written in the bible well, so if a no, woman if a woman hold on let me finish if a woman should provide she's only helping the man and the man should be very happy for it a man should not relent in his effort in carrying out their duties just because the woman has money or she asks too much they should provide it is their duty that is a misinterpretation so. of the bible mm, okay but maybe we shouldn't go there all right, Kemi Oshie. 
from Akute says it should be 60 40. Uh, this one says there's a reason why people are stingy, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a guy, I'm sure. No, I think it's a girl. He's a guy. He's a guy. All right, Mary from Ikeja says, Good afternoon, everyone. Why is everything centered on money? A man that gives well, money... That's what said at the beginning, anyway. Mm. Says, a man, a man that gives money but can't give affection is equally stingy. No, that's, All right. that's why I said it will carry it on to other All things. To other things. Yeah. All right, because of time, let's move on to our next topic. There's a particular video that's been... <laughs> it's gone viral on social media. Yeah. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know why, but this is an opportunity for you to see it. It's called Pamela Why. That's what I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what the video is called go oh, on youtube yeah. and type pamela y and the video will pop at you anyway a fight broke out in a church in south africa when the pastor told a woman that her best friend who was standing right beside her in church was the cause of her problem let's see the video we'll come back and talk i'm seeing a woman this woman has two children your younger one is Glory. You were doing business with a man called Easy, And something went sour. I want to pray for you. If you are here, come. Where is the person? She comes rushing God forward. God will get to the root of this problem. Young woman, come. What you stand there? I see a man called Easy. It's true, Papa. Eze is from Nigeria. It's true, Papa. Eze is a good man. It's true, Papa. You and Eze have been friends for a long time. It's true, Papa. But two months ago, Eze and you began to do business. Yes, Papa. It's you true. did it locally. He puts money and you did the work. It's true, Papa. Because I'm seeing you as a strong woman. You're very courageous and you go out there to work. It's true. Is that correct? It's true, Papa. So it went well. In June, yes, it Papa. went well in July. Yes, Is that Papa. correct? Yes, that's true, Papa. But something happened. It's mm. true. In August, Ace saw that the business is going so well. Yes, Papa. Jesus. My God. With whom are you here? I came with my friend. You came with your friend? Yes, Papa. I'm looking for her. Pamela. Yeah, I'm just looking for her. Let her come. Come, Pamela. Pamela. Today, look at me, girl. Look at me. Do you know Eze? I know you, him. You know him? Yeah. He's a good man, right? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> Eze and you started doing business June. Yes. July. In August, Eze say, let's not do it locally. Buy and supply locally. I want you to travel to India. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. Is that correct? Yes, Papa. And AZ gave you money, $20,000. Yes, Papa. Yes, Is Papa. that true? Yes, Papa. It's true. And he bought a ticket for you to go to India. Yes, Papa. It's true. Is that true? Yes, Papa. But a week after, what happened? <laughs> As they just called me back, Papa, I said, you want this money back, I will not travel anymore. Sure. I didn't know what happened. He just came and collected his money. As they, after a week, decided he wants his money back. Yes, Papa. The 20,000. Yes, Papa. You took the 20,000 that you did not even touch. Yeah. You gave him back. Yes, Papa. But this time, it was not the easy that you knew because he came insulting calling your name. Yes, Papa. Is that true? I, yes, Papa. This devil, look. Yes. You are asking him, every time you're asking him, he's calling your name. Yes, Papa. It's true. Your hope is gone. Yes, Papa. That business is gone. Yes. The two of you try. Did you pray together over the matter? Yeah, it is. You did pray together? Yeah. Hear me? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. Yes, well. The reason why I'm speaking is because the enemy is too close to you. Oh, oh Lord. Pamela, why? Oh. So Pamela is behind this.
Relax, man. Relax. You spoke to AZ that the money she gave your friend, she's traveling and she will not come again. I was jealous. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my I am shocked. Wait, did this woman just slap Pamela? This is messy. Can you imagine how relax, angry she must relax, be? Relax, relax, how can her own friend do this? And worst of all, stand well, to now. pray with her. What has this world become? Family, who now. can we trust when such things are happening? Hold on. Jeez. Pamela, why? This is outrageous. I pray that she will calm down. Judging by the way that this woman attacked Pamela in church, one can conclude that she may have really injured her had this happened elsewhere. What would have happened had Pastor Alf not brought this to light? So Pamela was going to continue praying with the victim to stop the trouble that she herself started. Where is the logic in all of this? Poor woman is distraught. Lord help her. This is not a friend. Why would someone do this to someone they claim to love? Pamela, why? Wow. Okay, yeah. I mean, wow. that, <laughs> that's what's trending on social media. Toy, mm. when you saw this video, mm. uh, how, how did you receive it? You know, jealousy amongst friends. Jealousy amongst friends. Mm. I know that it is very, um, it's there. Mm. Well, in some friendships and all that, not mm. in every, every place. I, I'm not sure I've had such an experience, but um, I know that this can happen. Mm. I mean, what happened? The, you know, in the what we saw in the video, mm. something that, of course, wherever you have man, mm. you are, it's possible to have misbehavior. Mm. Inevitable, not yes. even possible. Do you understand? So the heart of man is desperately mm. wicked. So it, no, a thought comes to you. I know for in this case, maybe the other the friend would have looked at it like her. So she thinks that she wants to pass me mm. and all that. Mm. Okay, let me find a way to stall whatever it is they're doing and all that. And funny enough, you can imagine, she follows her everywhere. Mm. Everywhere she Right knows. inside of that place. I'm sure following her everywhere is to like, let me see what she's doing now. And there are some people like that. Mm. They're not even following mm. you physically. Oh, but they're always checking your social media, yeah. uh, whatever, handles and to all see that. To okay, how you're you doing now. now. This one mm. down and all that. Yeah. Um, it's the, it's a deep-seated, mm. deep-rooted, evil in the heart of man and if it's not if, if you don't do something about it mm. you are definitely going to move on to the next suggestion it brings and before you know it you don't know where you get yourself into mm. but of course it's very possible all right mr willa it's happening yes well, See the sadly, <laughs> sadly we, we can we cannot um you see uh, for ladies generally we cannot totally say that this kind of stuff don't happen there are betrayers in the relationship. Ladies. We have the ladies generally because sometimes there are more. Uh, even even more. And, yeah, and, sadly. And that's because I think I think ladies generally tend to trust each other more. Mm. Or maybe they tell, they are too fickle hearted. They are too you know, but then mm. but then I think it's just it's important. It's just nothing because I see hey, I don't like him. You, you know, know, you don't you offend know. me. Sometimes the ladies could be oh, they're more emotional. They're, they're even more so envious of each other. It's yeah. envious. They are even that's more the envious of each other's progress. So if they are two close friends two close friends and one is doing more, you know, you know. Looks like she's doing better than, better than, than the other one. The other one becomes jealous. Yeah. Even, and, even to the extent of even boyfriend. And sad. Not just jealous, sad. sad. Oh, so if she, has like, a way, if she has a way, if she has a way, she will snatch your boyfriend. If she has a way, she will snatch she your snatch job. She'll snatch your husband. She'll hmm. snatch your, so you need to be, so I think ladies generally, you need to know your real friend and know what they really want from me as friends. How do you know that? So it's, it's just, it's just, I mean, over time, you find out over put, time. Put up structures and tests. Over time, you find out. Something I think, like I, no, well, well, for me, I think, I think for me now, as a guy, now as I know my friends. I know, I know, I know, I know the ones I deal with on, on finances basis. I know the ones I deal with on, on family. different levels, on family levels. You can so, commit money can, to so, 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 if you have a friend and you, you are not too sure of uh, personality, 
There are some things you need to hide from her. But do you know that this lady could have thought, actually thought that this was her best friend? What, what I course. heard was that they actually everywhere. prayed together, together on the matter. The whole issue yeah. and well, it's, it's sad, it's sad, <coughs> it's sad. But it's just, so she would have said fun. this was my number one friend. Yeah, yeah. my go-to. But can I ask, yeah. do, do, do men betray each other like this? Of course. They do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course. All right, they Tina. Own, they go stab physically. Yeah. Yeah. They don't okay. go doing all, all oh, of this. They go to the face like of feet. Okay. When we're talking about <laughs> betrayal, betrayal uh -huh. can only happen, I'll come from close associates, mm. close friends, family members. Let us go back to the Holy Scriptures. Mm. The person that betrayed Jesus Christ was his finance minister. Mm. So, um, these things happen every day mm. in relationship, in business, and things. Like there is a woman that was last month, and uh, it resulted to the, the, the offended person stabbing her best uh -huh. friend. What mm. happened? She's always having problem in her marriage. She's always confiding with this. Mm. Just like, it happens every day. At the end of the day, this man is useless, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. Meanwhile, the person you are talking to has yeah. not seen any use, uh, use, a useless person in, in her life. Mm. She's not married. Mm. So at the end of the day, you pack out, I can't take this nonsense mm. and things like mm -hmm. that. The woman packed in. Mm. So when she went <laughs> to take, when she went <laughs> to, last to, month, to get something from the house, house what she, she met a new the householder. And she had the boldness to say that, you see, she's useless. Mm. And let me see, you know, in my life, I've not gotten any oh, no, Let no. me let see what I can let me see what I can make out of this uselessness. Wow. <laughs> that last, then the woman just stabbed her. Mm. So that, that, it happens every day. What of a job? Another lady, her best friend, he went for a job interview. So she was relating to her friend. Ah, thank God, though, at last, I'm just waiting. She went with the full information. She went there. And I don't know how it happened. Mm. They gave her appointment. They gave appointment. When the other, ah, I've got a job. It's the same place. So an insider said that <laughs> your friend came on so so so. So based on the information, the friend gave. Mm. So what I, uh, you know, women trust much, and you are talking about their emotional and things like that. When mm. they want to, they want to pour out, and you wouldn't be able to know until something happens. Mm. You wouldn't be able to know, but for the ones that have designed. I think we also need to know yeah. how to manage. Yeah. Friendship. Yeah, relationship. Yes. Because you, you talked about job, two yes, friends, yes. and that happened to me years ago. You know, um, a friend of mine was out of a job. I had a job mm -hmm. then. And she got a referral from someone. Someone gave her a note and said, mm -hmm. go to so 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 mm -hmm. place and give the person this and let's see what will happen. And she didn't want to go alone. And she said, let's come go. with me, let's go as a friend. And I went with her. And we got there, and the person saw the and said, oh, okay, you are from so-so, no problem. Okay, so let's, let's interview you. Mm -hmm. And okay, who is that, your friend? Don't you want a job? Yeah. Let's do both and of you. you. And I just job. went with the flow, and they did the interview. And, and two days after, they, they contacted you. me. I got the job. She didn't get I turned the offer down. Because um, as tempting as it was, I recognized the fact that this could be bad no. for my friendship. You yeah, because right. I did write. That, that, for me, that, right. that, that was the best thing for me to do. I just At felt no, to, make, to keep this friendship, I have to let this. I had a job. I wasn't jobless, you know, mm -hmm. so, but she needed it, but she didn't get it. And then, and no. the truth is, no matter we how. We need to know how so to manage. See how I'm looking at you. This yeah. happened to me. Yeah, I, I turned this it down. This happened to me. I turned Follow it down. Somebody. You know, and I get where you're day. coming from. Like, yeah. that so is I didn't do not well. an objective <laughs> no, way. No, it happened to me. It's not the end of the day. I'm not sure she got the job because she didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't. Her point was. She did it. When she had to weigh between because this is the Africa, job this is and the effect it would have on her relationship, yeah, sure. she valued that relationship, relationship more. more than the it's job. not exactly. If you didn't have a job, would you, would you have still something? I would have turned it down. The, well, that's another issue because and I didn't feel exactly good with myself knowing. Mm. Not that you went there yeah. behind no, her. No, 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 no. I just that day you went no, and her open. more like you know yourself. A lot of this. We need to know how to manage. That's how they came into line. Like they just were passing by or they followed. Somebody and know that it's okay. Can you also try? And that's it. And I'm mm. not sure anybody will be feeling bitter. Uh, people no, will. People might feel bitter. That's, that's a different ball game from what we read. Oh, yes, it is. I mean, what we watch. We watch. Sorry. That certainly is. All right, let's have this. In my opinion, um, I just want to come from the flip side because I like to be the non-conformist. No, no, mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's a lot easy for, you know, all of us to remember 
how people have betrayed us, you know, my friend did and this, how my friend we did have that. People. Exactly. But for everyone seated here, we have I'm sure at another. one point yeah. or the other, we have been a Pamela in to fact, someone else. Say, that never to me. So it's, just, <laughs> it's just life, okay? For me, it's just life. And like you mentioned, you know, some people, well, as you know, as a mental health specialist, mm. I know that you know human beings as we differ we have this certain different degrees to which human beings are in touch mm -hmm. and in charge of their emotions, emotions yeah. i know that now the perfect example is this accident i had mm -hmm. i remember for the first two weeks i was so depressed i was so you know for someone who is so busy mm -hmm. always on the move Absolutely. having to be you know it was like a prison yeah. but one day i told my cousin and one of my staff i said look Let's go to the hospital. I need to see a doctor because the leg was getting swollen. Okay. Now, as I drove out of the house, we went through the Lagos traffic, mm -hmm. got to the National mm -hmm. Hospital, came back home. I realized that as I got to the hospital, just the change of scenery mm -hmm. made my spirits go well, up. up. Yeah. And I felt really happy. Mm -hmm. I came out of my, you know, the depression. depression. So I just realized that little things, that's what we call the tipping point mm. in the emotions of human beings. Mm. Now, some people genuinely, when mm -hmm. things happen mm -hmm. for people who they are closer to, they are genuinely happy. Yes. But on the flip side, and this is the nature of man, mm -hmm. you get more jealous when something good happens to someone you are closer to <laughs> than someone you don't care you don't... about. Perfect mm. example. <laughs> My family, I have three siblings. You know, by God's grace, everyone is doing well. Mm -hmm. My youngest sister, the rate at which that girl's business is going, you are like, it is intimidating. It <laughs> and she's the only girl, and she's the last <laughs> child. Okay? Now, does that mean I don't, I'm her biggest cheerleader? Hmm. I'm the greatest supporter that she has. I'm not has. sure it would have been the same if it was a guy. It wouldn't. The girl and the sister well, and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if it was maybe someone else, like a friend or someone I didn't no, care no, about, brother, I'll your probably your not brother. be on my toes. Mm. But that's my little, my baby yeah, sister. Yeah, your baby, yeah. You know? Mm. She, so you'll feel that way. All over the that. world, doing great things. Mm. So that's just the nature of the human being. Of human you being. get more jealous yes. when it's someone closer, closer to you. Closer to you. But like I said, yeah. Yeah. why not me? It makes yeah. you a more mature yeah. and stronger person so when you're able to contain discipline. that feel. Discipline, that's the word. But for every human being, it's the same. Everyone is a Pamela. So what you do with well, the thought right. that comes to you. Exactly. That's what, exactly. So, exactly. so when sister, those thoughts this come. This is what I do. Mm. My sister, I'm always on her page, on Instagram, everywhere, calling her. Liking a picture of everything exactly. yes. from her. Yes. What is and her area of strength? What is she doing very well? Thought. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Okay. Although I would never think anything bad about my <laughs> sister because I love her. Okay, more guys, than I love our myself. time is almost up. <laughs> so, Jealousy, <laughs> just like competition, is a basic fact of life, mm -hmm. and we must learn to handle it maturely. Yeah. Alfred Femi Alamo on WhatsApp, send that one in. Rabiu from Agege says, but why is it that women's friendship is always dangerous than mm -hmm. men? Uh, Me too, I don't know. <laughs> don't I really, really... They, they don't <laughs> they have their own issues. I know, I know some of my friends... Hey, are, okay, somebody is praising me. Somebody is... Stop, please let me. Yeah. Please, please take, take your accolades. <laughs> good morning. You showed you are a good friend with a good heart by rejecting hey. that job. Aww. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Makes me feel good. All right, this one says jealousy is a deadly disease. When it takes over someone's heart, it spreads and yeah, turns like cancer, into yeah. hatred. Like so to me, you should know the type of friends you move with, mm -hmm. or better still, keep things to yourself. yourself. Hi, people. It's, all, it's not only friends. It happens it's among like siblings. Yes. I have one that goes about breaking her sister's relationships, and she's yes. married, and she killed them by mouth yes. before people. Yes. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hi, friends in the house. Good afternoon, all. I'm Richie C. Peter Onazi from Allen. I really love the program. You guys should keep it up, because jealousy has caused a lot of problems in this life <laughs> that leads to death, especially mm -hmm. when someone is progressing, mm -hmm. and they must be so hatred. Just, in no even sense. In work, even in work, work environments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Everywhere, like she said, we're yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, one last one. Innocent from 
uh, Lagos says, jealousy is a disease in the whole world, especially for ladies. What I want to say is we should hide some certain things from our so-called friends. Mm. Yes, I think you should just know where to stop. Mm. Mm. Know where to stop. I mean, when, when good things happen to you, mm. I understand the fact that, yes, you want to shout to the rooftops. You just want people to just know that, you know, I'm doing well and all of that. Mm -hmm. But Yorubas have a saying, Tishweni Bata. Abi, for your for journey. Mm. If you don't know what that means, hmm. oh, check so Oxford hey, Dictionary. So <laughs> 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 yes, you have to know <laughs> where to draw the line. Yeah, and my no mother instilled it in me right from childhood. Nothing like friends. She no, kept no saying way. it. She still says it to me till date. Yeah. Some there people, is nothing, thing, nothing like death. You should know where that. to draw the line. All right, our time is almost up. Toy, you have a big thing called Niger Day Fashion Party on Independence Day. Quickly, tell us about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you, in, you introduced me as a media practitioner and mm. all that. I'm still all of that. Um, but recently, I started a new clothing line. Mm. A clothing line. Of course, it has to be new since I started it recently. Okay. And it's called Awawu Belo Lounge. Mm -hmm. Awawu Belo Loungers. People can check it out on um, on Instagram and all that. Okay, so on Independence Day, we know that there's a lot of tension in the air. People are talking about recession and all that. Mm -hmm. So we felt, okay, how can we make affordable? I mean, how can we make luxurious clothing affordable? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can collaborate. I mean, we can commemorate the Independence um, Day, anniversary yeah. with all of that. So we're having a sales party. Wow, it's a sales exhibition okay. just sales exhibition where people can come buy at 50 percent discount um, and it's even charles will come and get something females or males <laughs> males because the collaboration okay. between bucci clothing you know bucci bucci the reggae the artist, reggae artist. Oh, he has wow. a clothing line yeah, from since 1990 yeah. and all that so we're collaborating with him we are doing the women's um things and, and he's, he's the offering male. The meal. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. All this is going on, on Independence Day. Yes, and for your just uh, yes, and yes. for your viewers, mm -hmm. your viewers, if they follow us on Instagram, Awawu Belo Loungers, mm -hmm. I think if they mention that they are from here or they repost um, the banner we have there yeah. and they get people to like and all that, I just might be doing ten free loungers to your to your um, viewers. I'm okay. reposting already. <laughs> so that's a little right. birthday gift to, to Nigeria. To yes, yes. yes, thank you. For Nigeria yes. 58. And something to make us happy yes. at a time like this. Thank you, Toy. I mean, you. you're very and thank innovative. You. And thank you so much, Patience, for always being supportive of everything you're I do. You're welcome. Thank you. Very innovative thank lady. You're you a so huge inspiration. All right, one more topic we have, but no time. We'll move it over to next week. Oh, On right. what grounds should a woman quit her job? Oh, well, let's, I think we'll let's do that. that. Oh, we'll do that next oh, week. Next oh, week. We don't have can we do one more line? No, 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 no time. One line. No, no, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Patience, for having us. And thank you to all our viewers. We'll see you next tomorrow at noon, all right? Have yourself a good day. Thank you.